All right, so I'm rocking one of the new Redneck Nation shirts in Peach Biden, which is cool. It's in the American flag colors, but uh, we're gonna wash my truck today. I'll show y'all. I got the hood pop, but uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like before and after. And hey, keep in mind, it's a piece of shit. It's a fucking junker. It's a clunker. Uh, it's not perfect. There's dents and dings. There's gaps. The the quarter panel's bent from where the ball joint broke and the tire fell in and stuff. But uh, <laughs> Redneck shit. All right, so I actually just uh, sprayed purple power in here probably about 20 minutes ago, and I just did it again to kind of let everything sit. If you don't know, purple power is degreaser, so it cleans everything. Got it all up in there, side of the manifold, and <clears throat> valve cover gaskets and everything. But the truck was covered in mud a few days ago because I got it stuck in my dad's yard. Now it's just dirty. All I did was rinse it off. I didn't wash it the other day. I just uh, ran some water on it, so... Tell you what it looks like around it. It's not disgusting. It's just like a dry dirtiness. So we're gonna wash it down and see what it looks like after. But I mainly just wanted to come over here and clean the engine bay because I've never done that. And I was gonna pressure wash it. I don't know. I'll probably just end up using the uh, water hose. But if I don't think it does a good enough job, I might pressure wash it. But I got the water hose right now. So yeah. See what we can do on this old girl. What is up guys? I'm bored and don't know what to do today. And uh, I shaved my face and now my hair got me looking like Elvis Presley, but with extra long hair. I got my impeached Biden shirt on. You did a Red Ink Nation, the only shit that I actually wear. So use my code Colby15 as a discount. Yeah, that was a plug, but hey, I'm trying to save you some money. Uh, I didn't wash my truck yesterday. I uh, sprayed it down, but I did clean the engine bay with a degreaser and sprayed it down. So, I wonder how it looks actually. I'm gonna look at it. First, gotta unlock his junk bomb. Bam. Let's look at it. Oh. Still dirty, but it looks a lot better. It was like caked up with mud and stuff. I mean, y'all are looking at that and probably thinking it's dirty, like a valve covers and everything. But, dude, this was a lot nastier yesterday, but spraying it down did a decent job, so we're good. And, no, you don't got to slam your hood when you close it. Okay, that slammed itself. Accidentally, didn't do that on purpose. But if I could uh, get my hair out of my mouth, I could show y'all. I did clean my truck out, sort of, yeah. I uh, cleaned my carpet and my uh, floor mats with degreaser. Not my carpet with degreaser, but the floor mats, because they were all caked up in mud from me getting here with dirty boots because my boots are always dirty but uh i'll show y'all i'm gonna clean it today i probably do a video on that comment y'all want me to do a video on like cleaning my truck completely like cleaning everything out because i will do that so you look down here on my uh floor mats look clean dude these were disgusting yesterday like chunks of metal in there and mud see that one's a lot dirtier i gotta re-clean that one today so if i do a, a video which y'all gotta comment if y'all want to see it i will but see the carpet's a lot cleaner there under there it's stained but don't judge me and i'm not talking aaron lewis stained but i've got like spots over here where it's dirty people putting their feet up on the uh the glove compartment dirt over there i've got dirt all over there i mean it doesn't matter but i'll clean it and of course i got my toolbox jacket i got a, a bag with my drills in there my jack my uh hitch my subs now i took the seat covers out if y'all don't notice and then my steering wheel cover is all nasty from my hands having oil on them and whatnot like that used to be like a nice shiny camo and now it's like disgusting like there's times when i get in here i feel like it's only whenever i'm wearing nice clothes that uh like i could feel my hands getting sticky from it but I've been through so many steering wheel covers. I'm just, I'm done. But under it, it's black and nasty too. So I don't want to take it off. But I reckon we can get a uh, cold start. So I always turn my key over and let my fuel pump kind of come on. Sometimes I hear it, sometimes I don't. But I'm not one of those people that just turns the key over like in a second. I hate doing that. It bugs me. Maybe I'm like some kind of OCD. I don't know. But I just, I don't do that. It's all dusty over here. Dude, that's probably why I sneeze so much while I'm driving. Look at all this damn dust. But dude, one thing I will tell you is if there's one thing that you can't have enough of in your truck, and I've learned this, and this is like my pet peeve, napkins. I have to have napkins. I'll show you all my glove compartment, dude. Dude, look at that. I got 
five point stuff. Don't worry about that. That's bank stuff. And I, and I uh, headlight thing, but dude, just napkins, 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 napkins everywhere. There's napkins over there in that door. Uh, let me see. I don't know about my actual center console. No, they're not in there anymore. I used to have a bunch of napkins in there, but obviously now they're all in here. But dude, like eating out, Sonic, stuff like that, eating in your truck, dirt, mud. I've been hog hunting in the woods and got my boots all nasty and had to clean my shit off. Dude, napkins always come in clutch when you got a truck, dude. That's like the one thing you cannot have enough of in your vehicle. Take that lesson from me. It'll save your life. Anyways, uh, we're going to go to the P.O. Box and check it. I really don't know what we're doing today. I'm just bored. This might turn into a truck cleaning video, but kind of a vlog i just want to start making longer content for y'all of course i'm going to do my funny videos and whatnot and my short videos my long videos and stuff like that but just to kind of give y'all longer content and uh larger amounts of content so y'all are seeing you know me a few times a week or whatever but uh if you don't know my truck has 285,963 miles on it right now but anyways i'm waiting for my truck to warm up then we'll go i don't just get in my truck and then just drive i let it warm up for a few minutes so that's another pet peeve, dude. I hate when people do that. They start their shit and they're like backing out of the driveway and they're like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm already on the road. It's like, damn, dude, at least give it like fucking six minutes or something. Damn. Especially when it's cold outside, which is, it's not cold right now, but still. But anyways, uh, y'all let me know if y'all want me to do a cleaning video, like in my truck in, in depth and go through and, and like do the carpets again and everything, pull up the stuff in the back, do that, clean under the seats and clean my doors. I'll see if I have like armor on stuff like that. I used to, I don't know if I do anymore, but uh, I'll see what I can do and of course my truck's got dents and dings so it's not like it's gonna be all pretty or nothing like that but we'll see what we can do Ooh, baby all right now I gotta put my seatbelt on and be a good kid because I gotta play some country music and drive like 35 minutes out to go check the PO box it's because it's in Coons that's why it's like 35 minutes out I live in Beaumont uh, I'm, I'm from Warren originally I grew up in Tyler County uh, Tyler County is also where George Jones is from, if you don't know. Jones Country is out in Comasnil, or some people call it Comanil. I never called it that. I always call it Comasnil, but yeah, it's where Jones Country is. But George Jones lived in Coons and stuff like that for a certain amount of time, and he lived in Beaumont, which is where I'm, I'm living right now, so that's pretty cool. Got some old George Jones history right here. But anyways, I'm going to crank up some music, and I'll see you all in a little bit. And we are entering the city of Coons. George Jones lived for a little while. His documentary says, dude, it's a badass Corvette. Uh, his documentary says that he used to ride the bus here way, way back in the day. Of course, like probably 30s, 40s, 50s, one of them. A long time ago. But uh, he used to ride the bus and he'd pay for his first ride and then he'd get to play the guitar for everybody and ride free the rest of the day and play for everybody on the bus. And he'd just ride back and forth from, uh, from Coots and get on the bus and do it. So I think that's pretty cool. I like this little town. Like, it's country, but it's ghetto in the same sense. Like, the main street is really country and real old-fashioned. But when you start going down back roads, it gets real ghetto around here. Old Stokes over there. I've been to there because all shop and had some work done. Sonic. Old-fashioned looking town, but I like it. And then here, we got the old post office. Some nice beer bottle they left on the side of the road. But this is it. Old busted concrete junk man it's a run downtown but i like it old place over there i don't really know what you get there i know they got uh barrels and deer stands and uh <clears throat> feeders and stuff like that and i know they sold like mules and stuff there like not mules but like side by sides and here we are put your mask on mask get your mask on you you're gonna die COVID, coronavirus, P mask. The only mask that I wear is the one that God gave me. It's called my motherfucking mouth. No, the only mask that I wear is, is this one. It says, uh, this mask is as useless as Joe Biden. That's the most factual information that I have heard all of 2021, son. All right, fellas, about to run in. I always got to crack my window because my truck will lock itself. So I'll be back in one, two, and I'm back with a stupid YouTube transition that nobody actually gives a shit about. But yeah, basically we just got a bunch of junk mail, so I'm gonna drive back home, get back to listen to Merle Haggard and mind my own motherfucking business. Every time I want to back up, somebody has to just, oh, I'm gonna back up right now, as soon as you're backing up, and then go three miles an hour. 
Yeah, walking on the fighting side of me. You run down my country, man. You're walking on the fighting side of me. I'm about to fight this woman is what I'm about to do. She's gonna kick her in the cooch. So, forgot to update y'all, but just stopped and got gas. And uh, thank you, Joe Biden. Now $20 is like, mm, that's the gas tank, as it used to be like, ah, pretty good. So, thank you, Joe Biden. Since you're such a great president and here to boost the economy and charge everybody out the fucking ass for everything, thank you. Just kidding. Fuck you. The value of a dollar is about to be extremely different. Dude, you watch. By the end of 2021, gas will be like $3 and something a damn gallon. Like, it's a bad time to own a diesel, dude. Like, if you haul shit and you got a dually, like, it, it's just a bad time. Like, like it, it's really a bad time. Yeah, but you know, oh, Joe Biden, he don't give a fuck about the farmers or diesel truck owners or your average American. Nope, he don't give a fuck about them. But, oh, those white teenage liberal girls think that he really believes Black Lives Matter, so they voted for him. Because I'm 18 and I can make my own decisions. You know, man, sometimes I think they should really just raise the voting age because we got a bunch of retarded motherfuckers my age. Anyways, we back on the road, so got to be safe and pay attention. Plus, I got George Jones to listen to, so see you in a little bit. All right, so I'm home, but I got to move my truck out of the way so me and Mama can go get some food. I'm hungry. Old male lady, I don't want to block you in, but, uh, ooh, steering stabilizer fucking non-existent piece of shit but uh yeah we're gonna get some food i'm gonna pull up here and tell them to get stuck because i ain't got no front drive shaft in for the four wd four wheel drive fucking piece of shit more parts more problems that's what nobody told me but <clears throat> there goes a red ignition flask out of my truck, by the way. Use my code, Colby15. It's a good plug when I'm breaking shit. <laughs> See y'all. All right, fellas. So I'm gonna wash my truck to my best ability that I can. I'm trying to soak my pants and boots like I did last time because the water hose leaks real bad. But first, I gotta move it to the other side of the driveway and uh, get my wash bucket and everything. There it is bucket on the pressure washer which i'm not going to use pressure washer dude there's even a washer rag in there and a scrub what you heard boy all right so first i'm gonna move my truck uh spray it down clean it and then spray it again so we'll see see how it looks and no, this thing ain't new by no means. It's not all nice and clean and paint corrected. It's got dents and dings and scratches and surface rust and all that junk shit. But my floor mats are decently clean. I'm gonna clean the inside too. I'm gonna completely clean it, so I'm gonna do it actually. So, uh, I'm gonna find me about my hair falling in my eyes. I don't care. But, uh, we're gonna see what we can do. See how clean we can actually get it. See how bad that leaks? That's annoying. Gets down, gets all of my boots and my pants. Wheels never get clean because they're fucking stained. It's been a while. Just spray it down. Gotta show this part. It's good for the vlog. People wanna see good content. Got to show them you actually wetting it. Super soaker style. Now I talking about the Nerf gun. Because I got to get up like an old man. I'm missing a door handle because my brother ripped it off. That's why the door handle's missing, by the way. And I took two of my stickers off the back. Now we come over here to the wash bucket. 
Get our rag, dude. I put hot water in there and it's already cold. Get it sort of soaked up. Move it around there a little bit. Get your hand all nasty. And then walk over here. And start at the top. And work your way down. Because how you wash the vehicle, which I've like never started from the top of my entire life. But we are today. There we go. One side almost all soaked up. Got to clean the wheels and everything last, and I'll do the inside. But passenger side soaked up. We'll see how it turns out. Which also, I got to get this, but it's nasty. So I'm going to use my scrubber that is on the ground for whatever reason. But yeah, that's nasty. All right, fellas, the truck is washed. No, it did not wash the wheels. They're stained and they're really hard to clean. I might do it, but I'm gonna say most likely not. But besides the wheels and tires, looks decently clean. My favorite thing about my truck is the color. But yeah, looks decent besides old dirty ass stained wheels and tires, which I have some tire spray that I'm if I have some left over, enough left over, I'll spray it on there. Windshield looks good though. 20%, five on the sides. Yeah. Besides the rims, everything looks good. Do I have stuff in there? There might be a, oh dude, right there it is. <clears throat> this stuff works good. There's just like none in here, so that's a, bummer but do this stuff right here on my ultra tire shine let it sit on your tires like 15 minutes you don't even wash it off i don't think but dude that stuff right there make your tires look good all right so i did forget to update y'all like 20 minutes ago but i've been uh vacuuming out my back seat i did the floor mats and some of the floorboard but i have subs back here so i gotta move some of my stuff to the seats on that side get my craftsman tool set and my my tool bag with my drills and stuff in it and move my subs down here and uh vacuum all this out i got this hitch that i never leave in my truck people are like oh what happened to your hitch why didn't you leave in your truck so i don't want to get stole because it's got the little uh <clears throat> ring and pin thing in it and it could be taken easily and i don't want it to get stolen because that thing was like 30 dollars and i don't want somebody stealing a 30 dollar hitch so uh yeah i'm gonna get to work on this all right, so that's what I got with the mats cleaning them. Yeah, it's stained right there, I think, but dude, this is so much better. And then I found some stuff under the seats. Can't show you everything because I have like a bank card information thing there, but dude, this looks so much cleaner than it did before. And uh, mom just got here. She came in clutch and got me some car cleaning stuff that was in the house that I didn't even know was there. So I'm going to get uh, shop towels. If we have any, if not paper towels, and then actually clean the interior like the dash and everything. So. That's what we're gonna do now. This, this is the good stuff. gonna get that but i had a glass cleaner for that but yeah now everything is put back together and it looks good in my opinion so i know it's an older truck it's junky and it's got dents and dinks and scratches and stuff and surface rust and scratches over here and the quarter panel's bent and tip paint on the hood but eventually uh, I was told it was like 700 bucks to get it wrapped a solid color. I'm not in all the fancy wrap shit, 
And if I can get it wrapped in the exact same color, just to protect the paint and make it look fresh and brand new paint, and uh, maybe put factory wheels back on it or something, I don't know. Mainly just getting a wrap eventually, whether that's a couple months from now or whatever. I would like to get it wrapped in a solid color and uh, make the paint look better. Which looks good on camera and it does in person too. But you know, there is dents and dings and surface rust and stuff like that in certain places, especially on the other side. And uh, a solid color would be nice in my opinion. So like doing the exact same color or maybe a little darker, I don't know, but it'd be cool. And of course that, a car wash did that to me. And then on this side, the fog lens busted out because I hit a deer in my, hood's all like scratch like you can see it's scratched and stuff and the sunlight looks horrible but and i'm proud of my truck so i don't care but getting a wrap would be pretty cool so yeah that's it i hope y'all enjoyed